Siemens now, I'm not sure how much the audio will pick this up, but I just wanted to quickly show uh, the connectedness of Windows 7, so I'll just go through what we were looking at before. And, uh, yeah, some really cool stuff here. So this is actually a netbook, so low-cost notebook PC, and it's networked into, in, this would be like a house where I got a media center with Windows 7, and I've got extenders, so we got an Xbox 360. And some of the coolest things with this connectedness now is this netbook can come into a house that's got media center in it, you automatically get a shared library of content. I can go into any PC that's in here, I can see TV shows that I've recorded there, I can watch them, or I can just hit make a copy and that TV show is now going to come to this netbook here. That's great, so you can take the, the show with you on your netbook as you, as you go out, Yeah. so you don't have to just be in, in the home to stream it, you can take it with you. Yeah. Yeah. Really That's really nice. Really, and it's so easy to get to. The other thing I think that really makes these types of connected products really cool is there's a whole new Play 2 technology in Windows 7, and Media Center and Extender employ it all. So if I, if I bring in again, so it's again a friend has, he brings a PC into my house, he gets on my wireless network, he can take any of his music, pictures, video, even TV shows. You just right click on any of the song, any of the songs he wants. It's Play 2 and it's found my Xbox 360 Media Center extender. You hit Play to that Xbox 360 and now it brings up a little control that says these are the songs that I've sent to it. You can pause it, you can stop, you can next track. And the Xbox is Once it is, Media Center can control it, you know, through Windows 7, through this Play 2. And you mentioned the, uh, the Roku devices. Right. So, are they new devices or they work with the, with the, you know, the older devices? Does that have to be a Windows 7 compatible? So it's actually DLNA 1.5 devices are all compatible with Play 2. Where you can send music, pictures, depending on what the device obviously renders. You know, if it's a music player or a photo frame or a TV, it's going to receive the content that it's able to do. It's pretty simple. Yeah. Sonus, Roku, there's some audio video receivers, there's picture frames, obviously all the media center extenders, all these things are places to distribute content. Because I mean, previously you would have had to have a pretty complex setup to do multi group audio and video. Yeah, there's, I mean, there's some real cool stuff custom installers do to kind of take this to the next level, but when it comes to somebody wanting to get music in their master bedroom and, and they have a Windows 7 PC, this is a great way to do it. So can you do the play to another Windows 7 PC then? It goes through another Windows 7 Media Center session. So from the, uh, you know, from my Media Center machine over there, could I play to this net? Yeah, anything that's a Windows 7 PC. Yeah. So the key is Windows 7 makes the PC able to receive Play 2, that, that type of stuff. So if I had five Windows 7 PCs, I would say Play 2, and I could sit here and say Play to all four of the other ones. Yeah. Or extenders, or you know, or Roku devices, DLNA devices like that. So all those things are available in that list of things to play. Yeah. I think it's really good. I think it's, um, it makes it so much simpler. We, you know, before we go through registry keys and file shares and everything else, obviously. Thanks for that.